the cables would be what attached is? directly to the asteroid. Oh, wow. Then okay. The These cables would have to be orders of magnitude stronger than anything we have. Skyscraper would be built around the cables, with gravity pulling it towards the Earth. Yeah. But since the asteroid is moving it's in orbit, moving. it pulls the cable away from Earth. And this would actually stabilize the skyscraper. All right. This is going to be an engineering, architectural, orbital mechanic, and thermodynamic fever dream nightmare. Allowing it to float thousands of feet above yeah. Earth's surface. As the asteroid moved through space... Okay, good luck rescuing anyone from this. It's going to be following this figure eight pattern that's just, that just covers such a wide area. Oh man, this is a horrible idea. The tower would slowly trace a figure eight path... <laughs> no. You're going to need massive power systems on board to power the elevators and whatever crazy systems you have here. You're going to need onboard nuclear reactors for sure. Above the planet, solar panels on the top would harness energy from constant sunlight. That's not going to be nearly enough. Also, the tidal forces from this are going to be insane. And the upper atmosphere where this thing's going to be going is quite dynamic. You're going to get a lot of wind shear as well. Powering the floating tower without ever touching the ground. So to mitigate these oscillations, you're going to need things like you use in nuclear plants, like seismic isolators, fluid dampers, and really stiff structural design. But the risk of any failure with these systems is going to create a disaster that's going to hit the air. I wouldn't buy it. 